It is a very exciting time for big data in biomedicine. It's particularly exciting in Oxford. So this year we've announced a new initiative uh, funded with a very generous donation from the Lee Kashin Foundation. And I think what's happening today really matters. It is an enormous investment that Mr. Lee is making into this centre. The government is backing it uh, with our own money too. Uh, and I think it's going to lead to huge breakthroughs and great success uh, in terms of medical science and for Britain as well in the future. The Lee Kashin Centre for Health Information and Discovery brings together two different themes. One of them is research in big data, the ability for the first time to really mine and combine the very large data sets that we're studying and developing in biomedicine. The other part of the Lee Kashing Centre is the Target Discovery Institute, where we're trying to fill a gap between uh, what's currently done in the pharmaceutical industry in terms of drug development, which isn't working as well now as anyone would want, and academic research. So the idea of the Target Discovery Institute is on the academic side to push things a little bit further than we typically would in research to do the early stages of identifying targets which could then be taken forward uh, for, for drug discovery and drug development. So I think the ecosystem that we've created in Oxford, with the ecosystem with the Target Discovery Institute, the Big Data Institute, I think we will be the leading academic drug discovery centre in Europe. I do not believe there is any other university in the UK or Europe that could compete. Our colleagues here lead some of the largest epidemiological studies in the world, that some of the largest drug trials uh, in the academic sector. So that strength is already there. I think it's fair to say we're one of the leading centres in the world in the development of new methods to understand genomic data, to analyse genomic data. So what the centre allows us to do is to bring these strengths together, to have the groups working with each other, not just to understand genetic data, not just to understand population data, not just to understand imaging data and patient records, but for the first time to put the data sources together, to be able to interrogate them and tie them up and see the connections between them. And although much of the work is done through computers and through analysing data sets, it makes a huge difference to have the key researchers in the same place, chatting to each other, bumping into each other, bouncing ideas off each other. That, that's part of the opportunity, I think part of what's special about what's planned here. I think it's hard to predict exactly which aspects of the big data opportunities will be the telling ones. I'm confident, I think many of us in the field are confident that better understanding of that will change the way we do medicine and will change the way we do healthcare in a very positive way, I think, over the next 10 or 15 or 20 years.